can't have guy friends. It's not acceptable to me. Then it will already be too late. We'll already be married. So it's it's a little nerve wracking. How many? You know. <laughs> First and foremost, I mean, obviously, it's not a surprise to any one of us that uh, he would not like her to have any male friends. But she brought her stylist with her, who happens to be a male. And he says, well, because she's already warned me about him, I'll allow this to slide a little bit. But moving forward, no guys can ever be her friends, which, again, is not a surprise. Now, I do wonder, though, even though they've had this conversation, I do wonder how serious that she took that conversation because she still brought him along regardless you know despite it but hey it is what it is but nonetheless though the fact that she's now talking about being nervous it's crazy crazy she's been speaking to this man for four months and in that time there was never any nerves the plan was to go to jordan to marry and then that's it <laughs> honestly right kids you are maybe bye bye you didn't even tell me baby i didn't know yet Coming one week in one year. Somewhere. Yeah. Like Adnan is going to want to spend a lot more time in Jordan than I thought. Think that he wants five more kids, considering my age. You see, this is the thing that I really don't understand sometimes when I see some of these international relationships or just relationships in general that have age gaps. Age gaps where the woman would be older than the man, and the man is still expecting that woman to be able to pump out having many babies i mean it's crazy because it's like it's like people forget that having a baby isn't an easy thing for a woman you know having a baby isn't something that is risk-free neither you know it is something that can take one hell of a toll on a woman's body so much that sadly sometimes it can even take a woman a woman's life away you know upon giving birth and sometimes also depending on the woman's health and even just how her body is in general having a kid later on in life can easily you know uh be more prone to causing complications for the for the child itself in particular or even the woman so really and truly the question is is why is somebody who's 22 wanting to marry a woman that is 45 i believe and yet he still wants to have five kids <laughs> the, the logic where is the logic the logic isn't making any any sense is it now and to make it worse the fact that these two haven't even had this conversation is wild and to be fair with you i don't know if i'm more disappointed in him or more disappointed in her because i, I would imagine that with experience this is a conversation that she should have brought up a very long time ago that hey so um in terms of the kids how many kids do you want to have do you even want to have kids you know, because we know she's really got two of her own anyway, you know? So really and truly, I don't know why she actually didn't ask him that. Because to be honest, from my experiences, generally speaking, if you are with a woman that is older, you are going to have that conversation. In fact, more or less, they're going to want to ask you that question that, hey, so um, do you want kids? You know what I mean? It's going to be a question that's going to happen no matter what. So uh, why she hasn't asked him... Uh, blows my mind it's like she's that desperate to find somebody she, she was just like i just won't talk about that right now let me just win him over and then we'll talk about it later on but like i always say to men from certain cultures you cannot uh, control them you know you have to obey what they want and what they say and the question is is she willing to obey anything that he wants well <laughs> and then also we speak about the fact that um He's expressed that he wants to be able to commute from both the US and Jordan, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why she's looking all shocked about it. I guess maybe she expected him to just move to America and then that was just going to be it. Which, in a strange way, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if she expected him to move to the USA and then start to kind of move away from his own beliefs. You know, maybe he started becoming a bit relaxed in terms of what she wears and all that kind of stuff. Because some people do generally believe that if you take someone out of their country and you put them in your country, maybe that person will start to relax and ease off their traditional rules, which we know isn't always the case. We saw it with Mahmoud and Nicole, you know, and we've definitely seen it with other people too. But nonetheless, we continue. You don't really have time to get on the same page. There's so much that will be enough for us to work out everything together. Let's just let that sink in. She's acknowledging that they don't have enough, that they don't have a lot, a lot of time to get on the same page. But at the same time, they still need to get married. 
<laughs> you wouldn't believe this woman is at the age she's at and you wouldn't think she'd be in a position where she'd be looking to risk or rush things so quickly and so easily especially given the story that she gave us last week about her own life prior to this wild and to be fair the fact that she's a successful woman in her own independent right as well you think she'd be a bit more cautious about her choices in life I don't know if you guys have seen any information regarding her, her businesses, but this woman's got multiple different businesses online. Uh, from my understanding, all of them are successful. So she's, it's not like she's somebody that is out here who's, who's lived a life where she's been reckless. She's been a go-getter since day dot. So you'd think that she would be more logical in her choices. So why she's not blows my mind. That I'm completely covered. At tight. Covered by tight and showing your body. Let's just let that sink in. So, of course, he's expecting her to dress in a certain way because of his religion, because of his culture. We all know this. And I don't understand why is it each time we see a season with uh, women from America that go for, go abroad to find men that come from, I believe, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's a Muslim, why they go to these countries in order and then expect to not, for that person to not want to change them. You know, or to not want to control them. I mean, I get it. In her eyes, listen, I'm covered up completely. In his eyes, like, yeah, but you're, but, but you're still wearing tight things. These are still showing off your figure, your, your features. Which, to be fair, it does suck. To be honest with you, I don't know personally why any woman would want to be with somebody that's going to tell them that, hey, I don't really want you to show off your, your, your how, 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 all the hard work you put into yourself. You know, it's like, it's, it's kind of crazy because fashion is a big thing for women. Fashion is a massive thing for women. And to be fair, for some men, and even him himself, he even said it himself, he loves a woman that knows how to dress. So why should there be a limitation? Take religion out of the way. Take uh, uh, culture out of the way. You want someone that can dress. Now, I'm not saying a woman that can dress has to wear things that are tight, because of course, there are many things a woman can wear that is not tight and that is not revealing. But sometimes there are certain things you just look at it, you're just like, I've, I've got to wear that. That looks so good, especially if you are somebody that has uh, that does well to keep themselves in shape and you want to wear something that's going to complement your figure, complement your body, it's going to make you feel good about all the hard work that you put in to make sure that you stay looking good. But at the same time, though, why would she want to put herself in this position? Crazy stuff. Either way, culture is culture, religion is religion. And this is why we need to be wiser about the people that we choose to want to sleep next to, the people that we choose we want to be in a relationship with, the people that we choose that we want to date, the people that we choose, most importantly, we want to marry. But God mm-hmm just said it was going to be the two of us and his brother as the witness dressed i'm panicking your mom is a huge deal for me starting to hit me that i am marrying someone that i just met a few hours ago and what i'm about to do is super permanent so she finds out and it's crazy because she's finding out a lot of things on the first day of seeing him which is nuts but she also finds out that they're on their way to sign the papers for them to be married. So I believe for them, they sign papers first that says that we are now married. And then they have like an actual ceremony later on. So once they sign these papers, they'll be free to kiss, hug and do the whole shebang. But she was under the impression that it was only going to be her, him and his brother. That's it. But no, his whole family is going to be there. Meanwhile, her friends have been told to stay in their hotel. <laughs> and it's crazy because Adnan's excuse was, I've been so busy that I forgot to tell Tiger Lily certain things. That's a lie. That is a lie. If you were so, if you're, if, if you're busy planning things and you're planning things with people that you know are going to be there, that means that, that information is fresh in your mind. And then when you speak to your woman, because it's fresh in your mind, you're going to be like, yeah, so today I planned this, this, and this with so on and so on, because so on and so on is going to be here at our I don't know about, I don't even know if I want to call it a wedding, but at our like signature signing to confirm that we're married. Nonetheless, though, it's going to be a very interesting season now. I will say this, everybody maybe already knows this. You know, it's not really a spoiler because some people do know this, but uh, they do end up getting married, you know, and uh, because Tiger Lily decided to post a picture of her in a wedding dress and then pretty much celebrating. So the wedding does happen. It's just a matter of the journey that it took to get there. And I guess it shall be very potentially interesting.
But nonetheless, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.